Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Okay, hello and welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara, I am your intuitive tarot reader. All right, so, um, I'm getting this feeling of being stopped up um, late, forgetting about appointments. I was supposed to be doing a personal reading right now. Uh, I'm going to do the reading anyway, but I'm going to do it for the collective. And so the topic is about um, moving. So moving from one city to another or one state to another. And what kind of abundance is that going to bring you um, if you make this move, right? So we're going to let go, right? And so I'm having all, like, all this trouble trying to figure out how to get my camera to be straight, right? Because everything always seems so crooked. And I'm like, I have all these arms and these gadgets and everything that I'm trying to align and bring together. And uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with it. I've been working on it for 25 minutes. So, um, it's like the hurry up um, and wait kind of aspect. Like things are holding you back and you have something that you need to get to right away. And, um, but you're having to wait for this other thing to happen. And it's like really frustrating and it's giving you a lot of anxiety. Um, it's, it's getting things together and ready and being prepared for the thing that you have to do. Okay, so I'm going to do this abundance spread. So let's talk about manifesting. As you know, making your request, feeling the energy of having your request come true and then letting go and leaving it to the universe to decide how things will come to pass is the formula for manifesting anything in your life. Remember, are you asking about specific type of abundance or abundance in all things? Money, love, free time, family, joy. What are you asking about? Be as specific as you can with your ask. Okay, there's two options. I'm going to do this top option here with the five card spread. Okay, this is your current relationship with abundance. How to get myself into alignment. Guidance, what energy do I need to add for integrating or integrate what I am currently missing right now? Current blessings I need to be more grateful for. And what am I also attracting by shifting my energy? Okay. So at this time, I would like to invite in the angels of loving nature for this collective reading about moving and making the decision and what needs to be aligned before this can happen. What kind of abundance is coming in? Let me be a clear and open channel for the messages coming through today. The 
candles keep doing that where they're going in sideways. It's been like that for like the last two or three readings here. Okay. So I'm going to do the vice versa deck here. So there's going to be two sides of the card. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it all in the way that it comes out first. And then I'm going to flip it over and read it that way. All right. Spirit, please let the collective know more information about what needs to be aligned for their highest good and for the good of others and making the decision to move or if you've already made the decision what kind of abundance is coming through Got the um, the courage card right on the top here. So this is going to take some courage. All right. So your current relationship with abundance is brokenheartedness. You are brokenhearted by this. Um, you're very shielded. But you are protected here because the swords are going through the shield. So. Um, I don't think this has penetrated you through the shield. It might have, um, might have scratched you up a little bit. You definitely have some scratches going on. There's a rose here with all the petals pulled off of it. Um, it's like, it's still alive. It's still fresh. The petals are fresh. It's like when you pull all the petals off of a rose for some sort of a romantic gesture and you just sprinkle it around. You make like a little a path um, to where you're guiding your lover to. Um, showing your appreciation. And it's all like stomped on and kind of crushed up here. You know, it's not in its true form of a rose. <clears throat> but it could be some sort of a romantic gesture. But um, there is definitely a lot of shielding going on here. It's raining. So you could be crying, you'd be broken hearted by this. Um, they kind of stompled on your heart. You know, if you laid out your roses or you put it in a heart and they just kind of walked all over it and didn't even recognize it or appreciate it. And, um, yeah, they stabbed right through the shield that you had. You know, you're always protecting yourself. And these daggers just kind of keep coming at you, you know. And I feel that they're coming in pretty fast because this is... um a metal shield could be steel. Uh, so that that metal is either really soft and it's not really protecting you, or these swords are coming at you so quickly that they are penetrating through the steel, which is like the unpenetrable <laughs> metal, right? Um, that reminds me of like the Titanic, right? The the ship that is unsinkable, which sank on its very first voyage. So 
I almost feel like if you give it a particular name in saying that it will do something or not do something, it really restricts you from what it really is. Um, Shakespeare, a rose by any other name would still smell as sweet. So there's something about not putting things in categories or labeling them. Because um, this is your current relationship with abundance. So maybe you're putting your abundance into some sort of category and you're trying to make it fit. Like if you say, I want to win the lottery to become rich. Well, you're really restricting yourself on how that abundance is coming through because you only want it to come through by winning the lottery. And for one, if you don't play the lottery, you're not gonna win the lottery. <laughs> right? So it's like you have to play the game in order to win. But you have to leave it open to this abundance coming through in another way, in an unexpected way. Okay, three is about creativity, coming together with community. Um, this could even be like third party situation, like an intellect of the mind. Like falling in love with someone's mind. Um, the things that they know, their knowledge, right? Okay, and then how to get yourself into alignment is the uh, Five of Wands. And it feels like there are definitely a lot of obstacles in the way. Uh, you're kind of running towards this volcano this active volcano that is going to be spewing out hot lava and rushing down the mountain and you have somebody standing in your way and now you have to fight with this person to get to where you want to go i don't know why you're running towards this lava i don't know if you're expecting to stop this volcano from erupting uh, this person might be there to actually protect you, but you feel like they're there to resist you and, you know, stop you from doing this, uh, you know, kind of seemingly stupid thing. You know, why would you run towards that hot lava? That can hurt you. That could kill you. It's extremely hot. <clears throat> it flows in many different ways. It can be very unpredictable. And right then I'm getting like this <clears throat> really dry throat. Like I'm really thirsty and trying to calm down this irritation in my throat. But it almost seems like there's not enough water to be able to do that. you can't just throw water on lava and put it out. It's That's not going to work. It's almost like you need the ocean, right? Because hot lava will flow into the ocean, especially, you know, out on the islands, right? That's how islands are created. It's through these eruptions with the lava flowing into the ocean and eventually it gets cooled and it hardens but it takes a lot of time this five is about changes and 
Okay, in your guidance, what energy do you need to know and or integrate that you're currently missing right now? What energy do you need to integrate that you're missing right now? <laughs> so this is the three of cups. Once again, this is like that third party situation and this is about your emotions. You have these three ladies, uh, they're feeling really wonderful. Um, you know, cheers, throwing up that goblet as like a cheers, as a trophy, as winning, as feeling good. Um, <clears throat> these ladies are like dancing in the background out in this grassy field next to a waterfall. You know, once again, we had this volcano, which is creating <clears throat> uh, these islands. So this reminds me of like the Hawaiian islands. There's a little lot of um, waterfalls there. And they're just dancing and having a good time. This is, um, feeling free, uh, your vulnerability is just out there. You become vulnerable, wear loose clothing that feels good, that frees you, it's not tight, lets the air flow through, uh, yet covering you up, covering up your, your privates. but not being completely restricted, right? And kind of causing this vibration of this water kind of jumping out of the cups because there's a lot of abundance here. And it is um, a very eruptive energy, this, these emotions that you can't control, you cannot contain inside the mountain or inside these cups. You need to let that energy out. You need to let it go. You need to let it soar. And you're missing that right now. that um, dance like nobody's looking energy, that ecstatic dance, letting it flow, letting it be what it wants to be without controlling it or worried about what others might think of you and how you look and just feeling it, using that intuition, being creative, having fun with it, being grounded, getting out into nature, having this um, spiritual connection, the ceremony of celebration, right? Okay, your current blessing that you need more to be more grateful for. <laughs> this is the Fool card. And it was funny because I was channeling the Fool card before I ever started this reading. Um, because the person that I was supposed to do the reading for was looking for new beginnings. And I was thinking, wow, if the Fool card comes out, that's gonna be very powerful, right? Yeah, and here it is. Here's the full card. So there's something very powerful about this with your current blessings um, that you need to be more grateful for is having this opportunity to start this new journey, to have this new beginning, to have fun and um, stop fighting it. Stop shielding yourself from it. 
This is endings and new beginnings. This is, you know, the very beginning is a zero card. Okay, and then once again, here we have a flower. It's a different kind of flower, though. Um, I don't know what that is. Kind of like a lily. But the petals are falling off of it. Once again, uh, it's like laying your path, laying that trail. Maybe for somebody to follow you so that they know where you are, but you're going to take this journey anyway, um, and you're taking your dog with you, your best friend, your companion, somebody who is loyal, with unconditional love, unconditional forgiveness, And they keep saying this. <laughs> this is like very specific. Um, it reminds me of like a disc golf frisbee. Right. Um, if you ever play disc golf and, you know, it's basically like regular golf without the clubs. And you throw frisbees and you get them into these little cages that have chains. And that's what you aim for. You're trying to get it into that cage into that bucket. It's like, um, you know, like shaped like a bucket. It's got a bunch of chains that hang down to kind of capture that Frisbee as it gets into that, that hole, right? That goal. There's something else down here, too, that I can't even tell what it is. I don't know, like a crown or something, or goggles. I'm not sure what it is. Might be able to see a little better. It almost has, like, an owl feeling to it. which is about um, death and rebirth. And you're just overlooking these fields here on, you know, which way are you gonna go? And you have the shooting star, so it's like wishes are granted if you take this journey. You know, grab your purse, grab your satchel all you know all the belongings that you need to take but I feel like you don't need to take that much with you um, to go on this journey travel light because it's just gonna weigh you down it's gonna become a burden if you're having too much to carry it's like clearing out the stuff right getting rid of that constipation that blockage Clearing it out. Getting out rid of all that toxin that's in your body for something new to come in. And you just need to be grateful for that. You know, counting your blessings. Um, it reminds me of like the petals of he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me, he loves me not. And then whatever you end on is what it is, right? Making that decision, contemplating it. All right, and then what am I also attracting by shifting my energy? Now, uh, I think this is the Hierophant. Um, it's like shifting the tradition, the traditional way of doing things, the 3D world aspects. 
taking that chance. This reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune. It's taking the risk. So this is what you're attracting. Maybe this is, you know, new traditions or um, this even reminds me of like the Aztec in Tola, Mexico. Um, the Aztec calendar. You know, it's like the ruins. Um, you know, and holding on to some of these traditions, these old school traditions, but there's cracks in them, right? So they're like not foolproof. This could crumble at any moment. You know, I feel like you're maybe attracting some fear here with this. And having to be very careful. Okay, and I believe uh, that's five. Five or ten. I think it's five. It just changes. All right, so we're going to flip these because this is the vice versa deck and see what is happening on this end, on this other flip side, right? The flip side of fear and this fighting. Okay, your current relationship with abundance. Three of swords. This is the creativity, right? And here we have a flower growing behind the swords here. And you are not there. You did not get stabbed by these swords. There's no dead body there. You know, no one injured. Um, and I do see this soldier here sitting here and staring at it. I think this is like after the battle, right? And realizing how grateful he is to still be alive that like it was really close. This death was so close. But it did not penetrate him and... He is kind of looking back at all of the scars and the scratches and seeing this new beginning of this new growth, the seed that was planted that is being watered now by all of this rain, which felt like a heartbreak in the beginning, but I feel like is really nourishing you now. It's a chance for a new beginning. This is a new life. Contemplating some of the things that you might want to change in your life of how you are living your life. Because we went from this rose that's being trampled on the other side to having this, um, I'm trying to think of the name of the flower. They get really big though. Um, depends on how you take care of it. It can get very, very big. And it has multiple different flowers growing off of it. And each flower petal in itself, each flower in itself has many petals to it. There are so many petals. It's almost like 
if you're pulling off all the pedals to say he loves me, he loves me not, like you're never going to get to the end because there's so many of them. It's just going to take a really long time. Is it really worth your time to be reeling in that, that same question? I think it's time for you to just make the decision using your intuition, using your heart. And just being grateful that you're still alive. You know, and it's still raining. It's still pouring. The weather hasn't really changed. But you have a different look on life. You're looking at the other side now. Okay, and like really accepting the abundance instead of pushing it away. Okay, and how to get yourself into alignment. And this is the changes card. Okay, so now we're looking at it on another perspective again. We're on the other side again. Right? We no longer see this volcano that's in the back. Right? So if this was you on the other side, this is a person standing in your way. I see you coming forward now. And you don't see that danger of that volcano in this image, right? I mean, although you personally can probably see that danger in the card depicting it, you cannot. It's very dry here. You're out in the desert, you know, and this um, helmet is like over your eyes. You can't really see. It's kind of like move forward blindly. Using your passions, um, there is, the wand is about your passion, your fire, moving quickly. Uh, there is a broken wand down here. So I feel like, once again, like you need to get rid of something, like there's too much to hold. You both only have two hands. So we're only able to hold the four wands. And so the, the fifth one is on the ground and it is broken, it is snapped in half. And um, it's kind of just getting kicked around at this point because it's too much to hold on to. And these wands have um, like stopper ends on it. It's like you're protected. It's not going to like stab you in any way. It could even be like fire dancing, but they're not lit yet. It's more like poi balls for practicing. So there's something that you probably need to practice before um, you move forward. You know, practicing your skills, your fighting skills to become strong and confident. Um, these even remind me of like the juggling sticks that you'll see a lot of in like the Renaissance Fair. Where you have the two sticks in each hand and then you have your main stick in the middle that you're twirling around and you're using these other sticks to toss it up in the air and do these tricks. And you just need to hone in on your skills. To make these tricks work for you. 
okay? And then uh, guidance. What energy do you need to add or integrate that you're currently missing? So this is the unseen. It's like wishing upon the star. This even, it almost looks like um, there's like a man emerging from this water here. Um, I keep thinking Titus. I don't know. King Titus or something. I don't know if that's the right name. Um, it's like the little mermaid. Uh, her dad, the, the king underwater, like parting the waters, having all this power, emerging from this cup, these emotions. Um, sharing your offering here with this cup. I don't know, I keep like seeing a deer in here. It's not like a very defined deer, but there's like coral or some branches here kind of coming out. And it reminds me of like deer antlers. Um, and then, you know, dogs like to eat, like chew on deer antlers, um, which you know, you don't need to like hurt anything. You don't need to hurt the animal in order to get these antlers. They just fall off. They shed like a snake skin for becoming, growing something new. You need to get rid of something. Right? And she's like very sexy lady, but she's covered up. She's feeling good. She's all this fruit around her. So you feel like you're missing out on what's going on around you because you're so concentrated on this one cup and offering your cup to, this could be the divine. It's like she's um, offering it to the sky here and you had that shooting star in the full card you're offering so much of your emotion to this fool that you don't see all this other abundance that's like lying around you here um, and how you need to rise up through these emotions So um, I think it's time for you to look down at what you have, be grateful for what you have, see what you have, see all the abundance that you have, and how that energy is really bubbling and trying to escape from these cups. There's a lot of energy there. There's a lot of abundance there, but you need to see it. But you're so worried about everybody else or someone else. But this could be you adding like your abundance to the universe, right? We have all these stars here. So you have some gifts that you need to share with the world. You have all this fruit here. You're not going to be able to eat all this fruit before it rots. So you might as well be sharing it with others before it goes bad okay and then the current blessings that you need to be more grateful for mm -hmm. so here i do see it's like a crown and there's a cup that's tilted over right so this could be literally the cup that's being offered to you here but this beautiful woman, but you're taking it for granted. 
you need to take care of this person. He loves me, he loves me not, right? I almost feel like maybe you stole her purse, <laughs> like, because this looks like a woman's purse. And, um, this man here is just very, like, selfish, kind of only in his, his own little world. Like, where'd the dog go? The dog's not even here anymore. Like, your best friend, the companion's not even in the picture. Because this man is just walking towards this sun, this horizon, off this cliff here, with no care for anybody else. It's like, you're giving so much of yourself for this other person, who like doesn't even really care. Like, you're putting them on this pedestal. You made them the king, but you're the queen. Right, we had like this king here I was talking about, King Titus, I keep, King Titus, I don't even know if that's the name. Okay, and like he's already drank all the water out of this goblet and it's just throwing it on the ground like it's nothing. It's worthless, like it's super gold here, has a lot of, um value to it we're here it's just kind of like pewter you know very soft metal we're talking about the soft metal and you just uh, this man doesn't even care at all this fool he is a fool for not taking the offering that you are giving And just kind of like letting this love die, I feel like. Right, this just doesn't care about anything. Doesn't care about the dog. Doesn't care about being this king or having this water. This wonderful offering that you've been giving to this fool. Um... And you might be looking at this like it's a bad thing, but this is like your blessing, right? This is the blessing that you need to be grateful for. Because this person with this negative energy here, the selfish, selfish energy, this kind of thief, um, is kind of going to naturally just drop off. He's going to drop off the cliff. Um... And that's probably actually a good thing for you. And you just don't see that yet because you're stuck in this heartache over here. All right, and then uh, what you're attracting by shifting your energy. Is just being something otherworldly? Like, um, this is like a mix, you know, a mix of animals and humans and, and warriors. Uh, being a chameleon here, like changing your colors to blend in. Uh, this is like some sort of a, a dog here too. Having like loyalty. Um, hearing for yourself. To be this, this warrior on your own. Like you've had the practice. You've protected yourself with the shield. It did stay together. It did not crumble. Um, you have, you know, some courage here. I feel like you have this lioness body with this warrior head, with this beautiful headpiece that maybe you made from the pewter and the crown. 
you take those items that were left as if they were nothing and you make something beautiful of it. Oh yeah, it's even um uh, a snake. What do you call those? The I want to say it starts with a C. It's escaping my mind right now. Um, cobra. <laughs> the cobra snake. Um, where like the head of it becomes wide in shielding. It's almost like those wing back chairs where it holds in the heat from the fireplace as you're sitting there in your cozy space in your um, comfortable chair and you are meditating and reflecting and looking at this fire that is growing in the fireplace you know which is like a warm home cozy um that that heat that comes off of that stays within the chair with the wing backs the, you know, it's the side of the chair that has little wings that holds in this warmth, this coziness. You know, and cobras could be um, like striking. There are also um, like the Pied Piper. Um, they they play their flute um, and draw that cobra out of the basket that's curled up in that's coiled in and it draws them out and they're mesmerized by it they're hypnotized by it so there's something that you're hypnotized by right wherever this place is that you want to move to. There's something hypnotizing about it. The music is playing in the background. Guiding you here. And I, I do believe that this is, um, it's like divinely guided by your ancestors. This is like history. It's like breaking the history here. The cracks, of, you know, all the scars that you wear, but you're holding it up with dignity and you're transforming. Your, your animal instincts are coming out. For you to become this warrior okay and um so i have the mermaid oracle here we were just talking about king titan um if that's his name maybe you don't know the name or something right we we're talking about the rose and not putting a label or a name on something because it doesn't really matter what the name is this energy is still there regardless of the name of it, whatever you want to call it, it's exactly the same. Still has that powerful energy, that explosive energy, that fire, that passion, that being in control, having control of things. So this is the three of cups. So this would be your timing card. So cups is, um, let's see, days, months. So three months, within three months. Right now we're in August, kind of the middle of August here. Um, September, October, November, middle of November. You know, this is a timeless reading though. So whenever you're watching it, Within three months, uh, August or November could mean something. Oh, wow. Sanctuary, privacy, 
Invalid personal space. Respected boundaries and taboos. Yeah, I really feel like um, this kind of reminds me of that wingback chair again and your comfort and how you feel and that warmth and um, what you're creating. This is 28. So this is endings and new beginnings. It's 10. Could even be like the 28th of November. It's like Thanksgiving time. I was talking about being grateful for what you have. You know, taking that bath, having the self-care, taking care of yourself. This is something that's very private to you. It has nothing to do with anybody else. This is your alone time. And really feeling what's in your heart. Like she's touching her heart here. And just being, I mean, like the look on her face is like, oh yeah. Yep. I see it like that clarity that becomes really clear and here she is staring at the flame of the candle that's melting off the side of the bathtub here and I love all of the um, detail work of the wall here and on the bathtub it's like being really creative architectural type work Reflections. What you contemplate can actualize. Right? Here you are contemplating what you want. Really thinking about it. It's being coming actualized. Yes, it's it's hitting me. That light bulb turned on. Right? And um it like this being here is literally water. So it's your emotions that are coming to fruition, that are becoming this other being, right? We're having this transformation. We're transforming things, you know, from water into this human being or this mermaid. And um, just caressing it, loving it, appreciating it what it is and not being scared of it embracing it experiments manipulation of nature forcing chains change cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge ignorance yeah this is, once again, like the manipulation of nature, right? The manipulation here of it changing form. It's changing form. This is not the traditional things that you think of, like when you see this human sitting here. It's a human body, but it has a dog head. It has this uh, lizard head, right? It's not traditional. It's otherworldly it's like spiritual beings it's from like fantasy what do you dream of what are your fantasies uh, we have 33 creativity magnified this is a seven this is about spirituality you know facing your fears going for that change don't be ignorant right? You're offering yourself to this fool here, this fool who doesn't even care, doesn't care. Don't be ignorant about it. They are robbing you of so much so they can go on their own pursuits. You know, follow that knowledge, the pursuit of knowledge. It's the things that you've been learning. And 
this is like almost like death here. Um, really embrace and grab the hand of this death that you're so scared of. It's super scary. You can't really see them. They're made of clouds. Is it real or not? Is that fear really there? But you have this light. You are the light. You're shining. You're glowing. Don't let that light be dimmed by this dark cloud. Embrace death so you can have a new beginning, so you can be reborn. You are so beautiful and shiny. You have all these gifts to offer to the universe. Okay, you're protected. Amethyst. Right? We have amethyst lit up over here. You have your heart. You have your clear and open channel. Or selenite. Or um, quartz. The cluster of quartz. So many clear channels. Sanctuary. Oh my gosh. So we have sanctuary twice here. So you're looking for your sanctuary in making this move. A sanctuary res resides inside you no matter what is happening. This inner temple beckons you to enter a oh, temple. So like this reminds me of like the old temples, right? Hmm. This inner temple beckons you to enter. Take a deep breath. Enter and sit down on the throne of your own heart, right? And this is her like being that queen, putting that courage out, what you want from your heart. You know, sit down, here we go, we're sitting. Hmm. But the sanctuary resides inside of you no matter what is happening. It's inside of you. And we have flowers here again. This is, again, like the petals. This reminds me of the daisies that you literally, he loves me, he loves me not. Making that decision. Divine timing. The divine brings things in the timing that we need. Nothing comes before we're prepared. Hmm, right? I said prepare, study, figure out your skills. Nor leaves too early. Mm -hmm. Leaves too early. May I always trust your perfect and holy timing, dear Lord. Right? And there we have death arriving. Just the right time. Right? And this is your contemplation to make it an actual actualization. Doing your studying, figuring it out. And then the divine timing will come. This one, spaciousness, <laughs> which is really funny because I pulled this card out while I was trying to set up for the reading. So I had already read this one and here it is popping up again, right? And it's like about having your space, right? Having your sanctuary, kind of being alone, retreating into yourself and dealing with your feelings. Uh, what do I no longer need? Help me, God, to realize whatever people, places, or things drain my vital essence. The full card. Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. Yep. Right? That enthusiasm, that dance. Your emotions. The joy that you can't hold in anymore. That's volcanic, volcanic and explosive and full of heat and lava that builds new things. 
with all this water and the emotion that's just bursting and ready to come out because you have this new start. Yeah, you almost died. Be grateful for what you have. Help it to grow, plant the seeds. So no matter how many petals fall off, you still have plenty of petals. To whereas like this flower here, you only have so many petals until they all fall off and then it's gone, it's dead, it's smashed, right? But this one's probably gonna last a lot longer. That feeling and that beauty is gonna be there. It's more abundant and full. It might seemingly smell just as sweet, but there is a different scent to it as well. It's like I'm hearing stop and smell the roses, stop and smell the flowers during your journey here. Um, this is not a rushed process because it's coming. It's coming at you no matter what. You personally do not need to rush it. All you need to do is sit and contemplate it. Sit with it. Take that bath. Relax for it to transform on its own, for this death and new beginning to uh, transcribe, transcript, transmute. So yeah, you know, in transcript, it's like writing things down. Your goals, what it is it that your plan is for it to transform. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that, that was a lot of energy, right? Like there's a lot of energy here. It's very explosive. Um, you know, what is draining you, right? This full is draining you here. Show me what will fill me with enthusiasm and joy. What do I no longer need? Right, I was talking about packing light. Figuring out what it is do you what you actually need in your life. Is it just cluttering your space, your brain, your mind? Holding you down, weighing you down? It's that minimalistic living. Living with what you only the only things that you really need and use on a daily basis. You know, this is transforming into something else. This is another unworldly being. This is really being part of the universe. Take a deep breath. Sit down on the throne of your own heart. Nothing comes before we're prepared nor leaves too early. Trust in your perfect and holy timing. Okay. And fill yourself with enthusiasm and joy. Okay, dear loves, this is your reading for today. Thank you for being here with me. Please hit that like, share, subscribe. Um, set your notifications so you never miss a reading. Thank you so much for being here. And I um, wish you luck on your transformation and your journey planting your seeds and growing.
I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.